So my hashtag real talk is Good morning It's a beautiful sunny day here in the Netherlands And we're off to the holiday fair we're here and it looks so cool. I think it's because of the celebration of oh here 100 years of Schiphol that they made the fair to look like you are at Schiphol actually <laughs> It's really cool. I love it. So I'm just walking past stands that I um, of countries that I would love to visit, countries you recommended, countries that I lo I'd love to go and that's what I'm doing actually now. It's hella crowded. Yesterday it was just trade day but it's so busy and crowded and there are so many people but I'm still like running from one stand to another. Ooh, so I'm at Turkish Airlines now and I got this so, what do you pronounce it? Oh, this is baklava, of yes, course. Baklava. Yeah, ooh, so I'm gonna try it now. They serve this on board, for Sherlyn. Um, so much nuts. Sometimes, no, sometimes people are greedy with the nuts. Look at this nut layer. It's really good. I love it. Just give me food and you got my heart, man. Look at this insanely cute lounge area at the Mediterranean destinations. Look at the carpets. Oh my gosh. The oil lamp here. Oh, no, no, no. This is a shisha. Really cute. I love this pair, man. It's just... I don't know. It's very inspiring to be here and to see all those destinations and discover new things. And nah, I'm just excited. There's a mini food market. Ooh. A typical Dutch lunch. I have a roll with lots of cheese, and this is an apple pear raspberry drink, I guess. Juice. People approached me differently, saw me differently, because I said I was a photographer. The reason it describes more what some of us do. These are different terms. I went on to LinkedIn and I looked for all different people who, who we consider bloggers what they call themselves. Dan and Audrey own Horner Market that says, the storytellers. Just think, if you have a website, if you have a website and you're accepting submissions from other people on publishing, that makes you an editor. Oh my gosh, why is it so dark here? Ooh, 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 look at the futuristic spaces. I will show you more later. I am now in a, um, what is it? It's like a blogger conference, travel blogging conference. Just had the most inspirational presentation ever from Il Coros at Coriable on Instagram. Amazing photographer, but also an amazing entrepreneur. It's it's not like I love it when people don't have like the regular entrepreneur story. So I had a good idea, and within one year I was making millions of dollars. No, it took him like a couple of years to become successful and he's so he makes such a humble impression and guys I am so freaking inspired to make beautiful videos for you guys yeah so look at these insane futuristic walls this is so photogenic oh my gosh oh look so this is the Hall of the Miracle line and this is a remake of a suite on the Koningsdam how cool is this as a stand I mean look at this view this is insane wait wait seriously there are screens generating like a view this is amazing and they also had like a really cool announcement and rather than a, a, a formal museum in a space it's going to be more of a creative studio and i need to have a like a hashtag real talk with you guys because maybe it's too crowded here you think so no we're just gonna do it we're just gonna do it all right so my hashtag real talk is you guys know i want to make this into my profession like a professional travel blogger and this means I will need to make enough money to cover my costs because yes in Holland we have healthcare but this means I have to pay my bills and I need to eat and you guys know how much I love to eat so I have to pay for my groceries too but um, that's not the main point because this is something that I really really love doing it gives me energy to make beautiful videos for you guys to have you with me when I'm traveling to experience new destinations like how the locals live the food don't even get me started um, I'm completely out of breath like from the one stairs wow uh, 
But this is like, it's going to be a journey. This year, I'm going to have to work really hard as an entrepreneur to make this happen. Because after this year, my funds are gone. Like, uh, I will have to find a, a normal job. And still, like, I accept that situation. If that happens, if I fail, if I will not be able to make enough money to, like, cover my own costs, then I will just have to find a new job. And I'm okay with that. I'm at peace with that. But of course, I will do anything in my power to accomplish my goal. And like I want this, I want this to be something for us together. Like I want to accomplish my goals, and I love you having you with me. But I want this to also be inspirational for you guys. Like, what are the goals that you want to accomplish in 2016, or what are some goals you've been wanting to accomplish for years? Let's do this together because honestly, like I can do this by myself. Like seriously, I've done things before by myself. But I know you, you guys take my journeys as an inspiration, so this time it would be really cool to do this together. And um, yeah, this also means that I, I am definitely going to strive to get paid for things. But like when you do things that add value to people's companies or to people's lives, there's nothing wrong with getting paid for that. So I've met like so many creative people who are afraid to charge money for what they're doing. Stop. Seriously, stop! You are adding value to someone's company or whatever, and you need to get you need to get compensation for that. So this doesn't mean I'm saying like, oh, I'm in this for the money. No, like if I just barely make an income to cover my costs, I am like the luckiest, happiest girl in the world. If I get to travel, make videos, cover my costs, and do it all with you. So I hope this was real enough for you guys because uh, when I talk about companies, when I talk about brands, this is because I genuinely love them. It's not about like, there are, there are like, I don't know, there are more than 100 stands on this fair. I could have gone to every freaking stand and told them I'm a travel vlogger, please take me on a press tip or whatever. I don't do that. I just go to destinations or companies that I really like, that I feel like they fit me, they fit you and they, they have value for us for us, for us to travel together and for me to show you that place or what that company is doing. So I'm being very, very real about this and I hope like this is an honest enough for you guys to accept that um, yeah, this is what 2016 is going to look like. Like I, I the, the reason why I'm telling you this and I know like some of you guys tell me like you don't need to tell us this we understand but this is for the people who don't understand because I see a lot of shit comments on youtubers making money like this is their business would you like if you go to a grocery store and you buy a product how do you expect to walk away from the store without paying that's that's crazy right so youtubers have bills to pay they need to make an income they invest a lot of time and effort and money in their videos and um, connecting with their audience so for me, it's uh, like in the past when I wasn't a YouTuber, for me it was very frustrating because I have friends who I know work so damn hard to get to where they are today and then they get so much shit for making money. Not even that much money, but just making money with what they're doing as a business. And I, I just for me, it's a personal frustration and I don't like... I just want to get this out of the way. Like, I know this is going to happen with me as well. Like if if you don't we don't know if that's gonna happen like maybe I fail that's also an option but if it happens um, yeah <laughs> I, I, I'm probably expecting to get shit for it as well so this is my little uh, rant slash hashtag real talk because I'm being real with you guys I don't want to have any secrets I don't want to be shady about anything I want to do this together with you so uh, if you have a goal you want to accomplish let's do this together because it's not easy you have to work hard to accomplish your goals don't believe the marketing books never never believe the marketing gurus everything worthwhile accomplishing takes time not just 10 days three years usually to get it done, to get it up, and then you're just, you know, then you just hope, you wish for the best that it works out because it's not a given. You just have to work hard without, you know, not knowing if you're going to accomplish your goal because sometimes life just gets in the way, man. All right, so I have a next appointment. I'll see you later. Time to go home, home sweet home. I'm 
then oh, back to Stefan, nice good food. So tomorrow something exciting is happening. I can tell you all about it in a couple of weeks, hopefully. Oh, by the way, some of you guys uh, said you wanted to meet me. I am so sorry, but I have been just running from meeting to meeting, talking to people, meeting new people. Uh, the Wi-Fi here was not that good, so um, I'm very sorry. I hope we get to meet on another day. I love you. I hope you had a good time. Let's go home. Home sweet home and welcome back to Eats Random Eat. So this is probably the most disgusting meal you've ever seen. <laughs> this is dal, this is spinach and this is fried tomatoes with onions. It looks disgusting, it smells delicious and it probably tastes delicious as well. I don't have any brown rice or any quinoa, I don't have any sweet potatoes. So I'm just following my own advice and I'm replacing the carbs with more vegetables and uh, yeah and the tomatoes and the spinach so yeah this is gonna be my clean healthy meal for this evening and you eat this whenever a baby is born in the Netherlands <laughs> 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 